federalism learn in this lesson we will learn about how is federalism practiced the real success of federalism in india can be attributed to the nature of democratic politics in our country some of the major ways in which this happened linguistic states the creation of linguistic states was the first and a major test for democratic politics in our country in 1947 the boundaries of several old states of india were changed in order to create new states this was done to ensure that people who spoke the same language lived in the same state the states like nagaland uttarakhand and jharkhand were created to recognize differences based on culture ethnicity or geography language policy our constitution has declared hindi as the official language hindi is a mother tongue of 40% of indians the central government responded by agreeing to continue the use of english along with hindi for official purposes center state relationship the center state relationship is one more important way of strengthening the federalism in india the constitutional arrangement for power sharing depends on the large extent on how the ruling parties and leaders follow these arrangements all this changed significantly after 1990 This period saw the rise of regional political parties in many states of the country. This was also the beginning of the era of coalition governments at the center. This led to a new culture of power sharing. Thus, federal power sharing is more effective today than it was in the earlier years after the constitution came into force. linguistic diversity of india the census of india held in 1991 recorded more than 1500 distinct languages which people mentioned as their mother tongues these languages were grouped together under some major languages for example languages like bhojpuri magadi bundelkhandi chatisgarhi rajasthani bhili and many others were grouped together under hindi even after this grouping the census found 114 major languages of these 22 languages are scheduled languages and others are non scheduled languages this is the end of this topic in the next topic we will learn about decentralization in india till then enjoy learning